give in to your pride. Show me your greatness. Okay, so um, before I start, uh, first of all, I, I just want to lay down some ground rules. Um, firstly, number one, uh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> number two, um, I know it's Black Wings, but hear me out, okay? So just listen to what I have to say, and maybe um, someone will, out there will believe me. Uh, or you can laugh at me, it's fine, I don't care. <laughs> well, I do care, that's kind of mean, please don't hurt me. So anyway, um, I felt like there is only one really competitive deck this format, that's uh, Cosmo, uh, and the only other potentially competitive deck is Artifacts, uh, or not Artifacts, sorry, Cosmo with Artifacts, uh, and then by the end of the week, Monarchs. So uh, I decided that uh, I would test this deck because I needed a deck that was good enough to deal with Cosmo um, and uh, Pepe, uh, and that was cheap because I'm a pleb. So I thought for a while, and I thought, um, well, I miss Floodgates. I mean, that's always been a trend in Yu-Gi-Oh for the past how many long years we've been playing this game. You use Floodgates to beat your opponent. So how do you beat your opponent? Well, you stop them from playing. And then I realized, well, Twin Twister is a new card that's just come out, and that's kind of shut down Rogue altogether because if you draw one of those, chances are you're going to be hitting traps that are just, like, going to... Like, you've just lost the game because they hit your two best traps. Even if you set four, they're still going to hit your best traps. That's how that's how it works, right? Um, at least with MST, they hit your best trap and you still have three other okay traps. Whereas now it's like, yeah, Twin Twister is a bitch. Uh, so I thought, what deals with Twin Twister and what deals with Pepe? And I thought, Black Wings. <laughs> Black Wings deals with Pepe. <laughs> I'm being semi-serious, okay? So let me just go into this deck real quick. Here it is, okay? Just embrace it for a few seconds. Breathe in. Take in Jorah's essence, okay? Now, let's uh, just go over the cards really quick, right? So, three Bora, three Gale, three Kalut, three uh, Chris, uh, three Shora, Zephros, three Whirlwind, three Instafusion. Then, onto the best part of the deck, which is the purple cards, and that's three Anti Spell, three Gozen, three Granhorn, two Icarus, three Lose a Turn. Solemn Warning, uh, two Huge Revolution, and Emptiness. This actually should be in the main. Uh, this should not be here. That should be in the side. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what I've caught with. Um, I feel like this... Uh, <laughs> Let's let's do the extra. Bit. Okay, this is this is why the deck is good, right? I'll start. I'll leave the best to last, right? So we have two Norden, uh, Camion Wizard. Yeah, I know, right? It, it's it's relevant. I promise you. One Raikiri, Black Rose Dragon, uh, No Thung, and um, Armor Master, Hawk, uh, Dweller, Castell, Nightmare, Zerifine, and Triple Key Beetle. So this is how I thought I would solve the Rogue deck problem and the Floodgate problem. And that's by playing Key Beetle. So I thought that perhaps uh, if we play lots of floodgates and then have some way to protect your floodgates, then you should be able to beat Pepe, right? It's simple. Uh, and then I asked myself, okay, which deck can play floodgates and which deck can play floodgates and protect the floodgates? And lo and behold, Blackwings come to our rescue. <laughs> and why is that? Well, basically what happens here is that you could you, all you need to do is open any one of your like floodgates. So like. Kaiser, Gozen, Anti-Spell, Emptiness. Okay, so you have 10 Floodgates, right? All you need to do is open one of them, uh, and any level 4 Blackwing, any two level 4 Blackwings, basically, or a big Blackwing like Chris and Shora, uh, and Whirlwind, or any of that, and an Instant Fusion. So you see there's lots of combinations of cards you can open that help you get another level 4 Blackwing to your hand. So you want to put two level 4 Blackwings on board, Two level four darks make key beetle. Key beetle then protects one of your ten floodgates that you've opened. So emptiness, Kaiser, uh, and oops, and uh, anti spell. Now, <laughs> I'm 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 not sort of I'm sort of not joking, right? Now the way to protect uh, your field from being dark hold and stuff like that after, or 
uh, maybe not dark cold because you're only gonna have one guy up if you have Kaiser Colosseum for example and um, but let's say you have you know lots of floodgates set uh, and you haven't been able to protect all of your floodgates with key beetle because key beetle can only protect one once per turn so let's say you've got Gozen and anti-spell set obviously you're gonna protect anti-spell before you protect Gozen uh, I felt like I needed a card that would protect your cards from being destroyed, of course, um, and Key Beetle was one solution. The other solution uh, was something a little less reliable, but Starlight Road. So I thought about Starlight Road for a while, right, and I was like, okay, they, well, okay, why do I need something that protects multiple destruction? Okay, number one, Dark Hole and Regeki uh, for Key Beetle, and number two, uh, not so much the first reason, because you're going to have one guy up, so the Dark Hole, uh, it, Starlight Road wouldn't work because you only have one guy in the field. Uh, and you don't want to get rid of your Floodgate by protecting Key Beetle. So, I thought Starlight Road for a while, right? And then I uh, read the card text specifically, and I came to the conclusion it's not very uh, versatile. So it says, when a card or effect is activated that would destroy two or more cards you control, negate the effect in Special Stardust. Okay. I like Specialing Star. I think that's really cool, because who doesn't like Stardust? Uh, and then I thought, what about something else, and I came to the conclusion that was Huge Revolution is over. Now, Huge Revolution is over is better, uh, I feel, because if you look really closely at the card text, it does exactly what Starlight does. When a spell, trap, blah 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 is activated, that destroys two or more cards on the field, negate the activation, and banish it. Now that's relevant because Starlight Road says negate uh, the effect uh, sorry, when a blah 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 effect is activated, that would destroy two or more cards you control, you control, whereas Huge Revolution says two or more cards on the field. Now you're probably wondering why that's relevant. Uh, well, I thought, in the worst case scenario, um, if I don't have a way to protect Key Beetle, uh, my floodgates, um, and, no, sorry, if, if I have uh, everything protected, uh, then I needed something that would protect other floodgates but at the same time would be versatile enough to deal with my opponent in some disruptive fashion so I thought this was good against uh, Sorcerer because Performer Power Sorcerer is going to pop two of their scales and that's going to let them thin their deck uh, draw into uh, like uh, potentially Gee Turtle and Monkey Board well they're going to add that with a Sorcerer uh, so that's if you don't have anti-spell and then they activate it and then they get two free draws basically so I felt like that kind of uh, is not good, <laughs> right? Because you don't want them to dig deeper for their outs, of which there are not that many, apart from like Eccentric Artwin or something. So the idea here is that Huge Revolution can also stop my opponent's cards as well as my cards from being destroyed. So they activate Performer Pal Sorcerer, uh, and it negates Sorcerer, and it banishes it. So it doesn't go to the extra deck, it gets banished permanently, and they don't get to pop. That's pretty much it. <laughs> this is how this deck works. You make two level four darks, you protect anti speller goes and match ideally, uh, and emptiness, and then you key beetle it, and you sail to victory. I mean, you don't even sail, you flap your wings and float happily through the sky. So that's how this deck works. Now, of course, um, yeah, this deck has problems going second, like any other rogue flood de deck would do, staring down infinity or whatever. So I think uh, going second, you can probably side out your uh, Grand Horns and maybe like, oh, pardon me, and maybe like um, uh, Zephyros or something. Uh, you just you just you want to put in five hand traps going second, right? Uh, on top of that, you want to be able to make Black Rose Dragon, uh, so you could potentially bait out in some way with. Um, uh, like I've, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> there was, uh, yeah, the, uh, this deck's not very good. Sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, going second, ideally, um, you want to have like Maxi or Valor in your hand to stop the Ptolemyus, uh, or to stop them from making a big board in general. If one of those five cards aren't in your opening hand, then ideally you might have something like a Black Rose, a Black Rose play, where you just normal summon Shura, you special summon Gale. Uh, and then you just black rose the field and then when that gets negated by infinity you know maybe uh, you'll have a follow-up like instant fusion or something like that uh, probably not though and then you just lose so yeah it, it sucks going second I understand right um so you could play some other things that um, I haven't included uh, these 
I feel like uh, MST isn't very necessary going second because, uh, or at all in this deck because, I mean, worst case scenario you have Icarus attack and second of all, um, there aren't many spell or traps that Black Wings care about that you want to hit. I mean, if your opponent has anti-spell or something, you don't really care. And Twin Twister is too heavy of a cost for a deck that doesn't generate any advantage, except through Black Whirlwind, of which is really shit because it's unsearchable. And yeah. Now, other... Uh, I'm, I'm way too into this, by the way. Just so you know. I know you've known this. I've gone on for ages. I am way too into this deck. But anyway, um, other floodgates for other decks include things like the Lose of Turns, uh, and then 3 Iron Wall for Cosmo, and Soul Drain and Defissure for Mermels. Uh, and then you have things like Maxi for Mermels, uh, Dark Cause or Ageki is going second against Mermels, uh, and pretty much anything else that isn't a Pendulum deck, I suppose. And yeah, this is uh, that's kind of what I came up with. Uh, next week, when Morrows come out, you can probably put three Mask of Restrict in here somewhere. And yeah. Okay. Right, I'm I'm sort of joking about this deck, but at the same time, I feel like you know if you kind of want to have some fun and you feel like playing Black Wings, and you don't know how to play Black Wings this format because no one really knows how to play Black Wings this format because there is no solution for Black Wings this format. Worst case scenario, you can try my deck here and see if you like it. <laughs> Give it a shot and see if you can if you enjoy and can make Black Wings stun work. And yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. So <laughs> thanks for watching, uh, as usual, and. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think about my Blackwing stun deck. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Come face me, give in to your pride, show me your greatness.